first we have to see if we have activated the plugin. So go to plugins and see geometry scripting. Geometry script is activated. If it's not activated, will you please activate it? And then we will create one blueprint class. And that's important now. It has to be from type dynamic mesh actor. We have here dynamic mesh actor and generated dynamic mesh actor. Generate dynamic mesh actor is editor only subclass of dynamic mesh actor. That means we'll use this class if we want to make our dynamic changes in the viewport. If we want to make our changes in real time, we have to use dynamic mesh actor. That's very important. So we select dynamic mesh actor and click on select. Pepe, wow. I will call it Pepe wow dynamic. And let's write some script. We start here first time in the construction script. First we will get our dynamic mesh. And we will create one wall. We will create it in the construction script because we want to see it in the viewport. But the changes, they will be made in runtime. First we will reset it. And after that we will append a box. Let's make it 50 for the depth and 500 bright and 500 high. After that, let's create a UVs on the box. Make some UVs from box projection. And my transform, split it. 100. 100 and 100. Now let's set one material auto dynamic mesh. Set set material. So you know, like that. I choose one brick material from the starter content. I think it was this one. We compile it, save it, and let's see. Hoop, voila. We created our wall. So it looks like that. We have material on it, it looks like a wall. So next, we'll add a function and we will call it add a hole. So in this function, it will be called it always when we click on the wall. And this function will create one hole on the wall. Let's first time allocate the computing mesh. So we need this function to take mesh from the pool and we will work with this mesh after that. Next, we'll append a box on it. So here we will have to create one variable from type vector. And that will be the whole position. We have to calculate the relative position of the hole to our dynamic mesh. We have one side the dynamic mesh and we have our hole position. We will set this hole position later. Now we will take first time the world transform from our wall. transform, I'll push a little bit by side, we'll make now a relative transform. This relative transform will be the position of our hole. And, oops, I have to be in B, relative to it, and yes. On this way we will create 
the relative position to our dynamic mesh from our hole. Next, we will take our dynamic mesh component and get dynamic mesh. We will get the mesh from our component and now we will make our boolean operation. Apply mesh boolean and exactly here will happen the cut of the ball geometries. Take the target, push it in the tool mesh. and we will make from operation that union will make subtract so next we have to release all computed meshes all computed meshes and we are done with our function so i go through it one more time um we'll call the function at whole we allocate a compute mesh we create one box and set the relative transform to it. After that, we take our dynamic mesh component, we take the dynamic mesh from it and apply the boolean. From this dynamic mesh, we will cut this box. And yeah, we will subtract, we will cut it. And at the end, we release all computed meshes. So that's our function and it is ready now, like that. And let's create our widget where we will generate a window and cut it in the wall. 